What's good, What's YouTube? YouTube? We back with another video. I am Jay. And I am B, and, and this is Jay and B TV. Okay, we back with another video. And today we're gonna be we're going to be doing a mukbang. A McDaniel's, a Mickey D's mukbang. Yeah, and um, you see we have the blue yeti here, so this is kind of like a type of. ASMR, so you can enjoy the sounds. Um, right. Yeah, so we're going to be doing a story time of how we met. Pretty much how we met, and we argue. She don't think this is ASMR. I don't. You don't? No. I think this is somewhat we're talking, ASMR. We're talking loud, and then it's like the mic is it's hard to explain, because I think ASMR is more of a relatively quiet. Quiet thing? Yeah, but uh -huh. that's okay. I mean, it's our channel, so we do what we want to do. Right, so. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Basically, we're going to just jump on this McDonald's and tell y'all how we met. How we met. So, so in the summertime, like, during, like, around our neighborhood, we used to have, like, this summer camp. It was, like, summer Bible camp, so it was, like, at the church. And I went there. <laughs> like, like, it's hard to explain because my sisters used to go there before... Me, like it was like every I knew summer. her sisters way before I knew her. Uh, the first time I ever seen Batala, I, I think it was like first because I think I saw her like a couple times in the neighborhood. I think it was like almost two or three times, but I was young then, yeah. I was probably like 12, 11, 10, 11, 12. No, yeah. 11, 12. I think the first time though. Was it when I saw y'all walking? Uh, was on the porch. No, you told me that I was on the porch, and he was. He said he seen me, but I didn't see him. Him, and his friend was like riding on the bike, and he was yeah. pigs, and I was like on the porch. I was just standing there on the porch, and he saw me, but I, I don't remember seeing him, or I don't know. I just have no recollection. But he was just like, oh, "I just seen you right there." I'm like, "Well, really?" <laughs> so I was like, "What?" Almost three years before we actually dated. Saw you saw each other. Mm-hmm. And then I saw him before we dated, and me and my sisters were, like, walking in the street, and he was, like, walking with his book bag and just headphones on, and he kind of just all fitted and bitted, and all, mm-hmm, and we kind of seen him, like, my sisters, they were like, hey, Jamal, hey, and, you know, they, he kind of spoke back, and he kind of just walked up the street and walked back that way, like, and... Do you have, like, um, curls... You had like curls. I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't know what I had in my head, but I know I was just outside with my sisters, and we kind of just, um, yeah. <laughs> that was like what late in the day, but like, where was y'all coming from? Mm -hmm. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> Maybe we went to from. I don't know. I really don't remember. But yeah, that's when I, that was the first time I seen him before we right. did like the summer the summer camp for the church. Yeah. Her older, her two older sisters worked at the church when, when we all, both, both, basically all of us had, got hired around the same time. Mm -hmm. That was like the first year they started doing that. Mm -hmm. And it was like plenty of people. It was like, uh, 10 days, both of your older sisters, um, supposedly your other cousins and it was, it was a lot of us. Mm hmm I don't even know. The dang near neighborhood. I didn't even know that she even had, they ain't even had more sisters. All right. When Tendi and uh, old girl, like, I didn't even know, like, oh, they got more sisters. And when y'all said y'all were sisters, I'm like, they lying. Yeah. <laughs> One light skin, other dark skin. Like, mm -hmm. I'm like, you know. So then when we, like, started the camp or whatever, I was new to the camp, so I wasn't really getting paid. And um, I was kind of like a, what you call it, intern, kind of. And I was no. kind of just sitting there because I was too young to get paid, I guess. I don't know what that was. But right. Yeah, I was too young. I think I was 14 or 13, 14, 14. I don't know. One of those. And, um, yeah. So, we started the camp out. You know, I was kind of, it kind of like started off in this room. We was all like at a round table and stuff like that. We'll read parts of the Bible. Like, it'll be like, you know, one of those types of things. Like, um... Yeah. No, but the first day we went, we went to the church, um, 
We had to pass out popcorn and flyers for like oh, yeah. promoting kids to come to the to the, to the camp because it was about to start. Right. So we like have you know we had broke out into groups or whatever. He wasn't in my group. Um, his friend was actually in my group, and we kind of like you know was passing out popcorn and stuff like that. Uh, I think it was a pop was it popcorn mm-hmm. and balloons or something mm-hmm. like that. <laughs> and we was just like walking the streets of the neighborhood, just putting stuff on a. On their doors and stuff like that. Right. So um, that was the first time I seen him, but he was actually later. A lot of people said that him and his friend looked alike. So they was like, oh, that's Jamal. I'm like, oh, <laughs> right. like, you know, and I'm like, okay. I used to think they looked alike a lot, but now, whoo, no. <laughs> um, so we didn't meet at that time. Yeah, I mean, like, first the next day or like, do we have to come back the next day? I think we had to come back to this day. I don't remember. It's so long ago. It was like almost seven years ago. <laughs> like, what yeah. the heck? Um, so he, um, sorry if I'm saying um a lot, but I'm trying to chew my food. But I think, I just remember, you know, being back into the church and we finally was at the round table and it was like, okay, we're going to pick the groups for the people. Oh, yeah. For the class and stuff basically, like that. They had to, <laughs> basically, we all had to like pick. Like, who was going to be working with who? Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's a camp for kids in the church. Mm-hmm. So, and we was the, I guess, like the leaders. The camp, teachers. Yeah, camp leaders, teachers, mm-hmm. whatever the case may be. And they started picking uh-huh. us who mm-hmm. going to be who going to be doing games, who's going to be doing <laughs> crafts, arts and crafts and stuff like that. So, it's this thing that was going on for almost two years before they came. Mm-hmm. And it was with her cousin. Yeah. And like they never like they always used to try to pair me and her cousin up together mm-hmm. for some odd reason. Knowing we didn't like each other. Mm-mm. You ever seen them kids that be like, I don't like him, I don't like her. Mm-hmm. That's how we were, like, bruh, do not put me with her. It was basically like her cousin. Uh huh. And when we went to that freaking round table, yeah. they did that same crap. They put him and my cousin together. And then I had no place to go. Right. So they was kind of like, okay, we're going to put her in crash with them. Right. So, you know, we started you know, like reading about stuff and just trying to like figure out what we was going to do, come up with ideas, what we are going to do for the kids, mm-hmm. for the crafts. And then that day, I think it was the next time we came, I don't know. That's when the kids came. So, you know, kids coming in, we getting our classroom ready. And um, the first encounter with us was when... Um, <laughs> We wrote, we had to write our names. We wrote our names down so they can like kind of um you know know our names. I, I right. guess for some reason what we were signing, I don't know. We had we wrote our names down and I put my name. Like so they could come in and be like, oh, this is mm-hmm. a teacher, such and such, such, such. Yeah. So I wrote my name. She wrote her name, and then this man over here gonna come over here and write a big old Jamal Washington like all over the whole paper. I'm like, okay, like and like you're. And she was like, they was hey, you're hey. Poor, you're poor. And they was like, hey, hey. they was hey because I was you know creative with my name. And I did my name, you know, real, real cold. And, you know, they were just hating on me. <laughs> and I knew she was dating me since then, you know. Never. She wanted your boy. And I'm like, girl, back up. Like, you ain't got to be that thirsty. Stop. You remember what I told you that? I'm no, like, you girl, you ain't got to be that thirsty. I'm going I'm to keep my eye on you. You know what I mean? <laughs> the funny part about the situation is. He was digging me. Nah, he wasn't digging me. We gonna be real about that. We actually, to be truthful, we actually started dating on accident. On accident, it was a Very game. It was a game, kind of, with the with his. Long story short, him and his friends was at the camp. He really, they didn't really like none of us. They, they was kind of okay. Like, this, how, <laughs> this is how it went down, right? They had beef. Obviously, it was almost it was too many girls in us. Period. Mm-hmm. Them boys. They had they had already had beef with one of my guys, Tim, previously. So we thought that they was gonna like kind of uh, like try to get us fired. Like, oh, like back then, the girl that worked at the church was very spiteful. Like, yeah. And they had Pastor Betty wrapped around their hand. Yep. Everything that the girl said, it it happened. It like, went. Yeah. It went. If the girl said no, we should do this. Pastor Betty was like, we're going to follow what they say. Mm-hmm. Or if it was like, no, we should eat this today or we should do this or what type of field trip. The girls always had to say so. She was not listening to us no, at all. No, she wasn't. Uh-uh. So we, they had already confronted Tim 
one of my friends about what he had said previously. So I'm like, they gonna finna try to get us fired. And they finna try to get some dudes in here that they like to, you know, to work with. Because obviously it's a summer camp. And it was kind of right in the middle of, aka the hood, yeah. in the neighborhood. <laughs> so people out there, it was, you know what I mean? Like, it's plenty of other people who be like, hey, come work at the church with us. You know what I mean? They mm-hmm. looking for people like easy money. So be like, we're not finna get, get fired. So we came up with this plan. <laughs> we came up with this plan. To start trying to act like we like them on a personal level mm-hmm. so they can keep us around or they can, like, you know, want to come to work to, to flirt with us and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Because we did not, when I say I did not like them, I did not like them. And it wasn't because how I was back then, I was very quiet to myself and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I never really liked people who. Till this day, people who were just like outrageous yeah. and like extra, very extra, mm-hmm. and that's <laughs> that's them. I was extra. You wasn't. I wasn't. Mm-hmm. You no pain. Yeah. was loud for no reason. Like why are y'all loud? I was like, gonna say like I was never really that extra type of person, but like um, what was I gonna say? So they came up with that plan to act like they like us or whatever. Right. And so Jamal starts to like you know. I guess I was kind of like the last choice because he wasn't finna get my cousin. Yeah. Uh, Tim had your sister. Yeah. Tim was supposed to act like he liked it. Y'all could look. Um, who was it? Um, 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 Calais. Uh, Mustafa was supposed to talk to, try to act like Calais. These are my cousins, by the way. Right. Ten day we was gonna leave alone. Ten day was like that's my sister. Obviously, and, ten, but and my sister's more of like a, a guy, not like a guy, but they kind of more. No, but cool ten day like then, then she had like a boyfriend. Or, uh, uh, I think she had a boyfriend. Was that she did have a boyfriend? Right at the time, so yeah. he was like and ten day was more of like the mom of the group. Mm-hmm. Like she was older than everybody, and I wasn't fit to get left with Paige. <laughs> It was like Paige, that, it was like her and Paige left, but like she was very quiet and tent, like very like to herself. Obviously, she was the youngest one out of the group. Mm-hmm. Everybody else was like 15, 16. She was 14, so she was like the youngest one out of the group. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, Tene got a, already got a boyfriend. Tene like the oldest one in the group. Um, Mustafa was going to be with Calais. Tim was trying to talk to Shakula. And then Ojo, was Ojo there? Ojo had Yeah, with Darren. Yeah, that was, she was already there. Yeah, she was already with Darren. She was with Darren. So it was like, I'm stuck with Paige. The one person that I did not want to talk to at all, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, we always bumped heads. Like, me and her cousin, I don't even know why we didn't like each other. Because people was pushing y'all to like each other, and it made it like y'all just didn't like each other. On top of that, he felt like Paige was kind of extra, too, so. Paige was very extra. She didn't have a a personality trait that he liked. Right. And on top of that, my whole thing with Paige, I don't even know why I didn't like her. I just didn't like her. And like you said, <laughs> everybody was just, oh, Jamal and Paige, Jamal and Paige, like, where did that even start? Mm-hmm. Like, hold on, calm down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out. So, it was just her, so I'm like, might as well. So, I, <laughs> so, so he I just, started to per- pursue, kind of like, kind of, you know, he'll, like, oh, it's just like those days get me so, like, so happy because I miss those days. Like, well, where you, it was just like, you know, the church. Like, I, I miss the church a lot, but right. I wouldn't go back now because I'm grown, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? But, um, it just gives me those little feelings. Like, because it's like, like, I'll be sitting down in the classroom, like, in one of those classrooms, and it's like, oh, I like you. You know, you kind of just walk up behind me, like, I like you. And I always was doubting him, like, no, you don't like me. This is a game. Y'all playing with me. I literally didn't know that they really did this, but I, in my mind, it was just like, this is a game. Right. Because all of a sudden, how... His friend over here with my sister, his other friend over here, then he over here with me. Like, bro, you didn't show no type of, no type of interest in me. So I'm like, this is a game. This is fake. You know what I'm right. saying? So, because everybody else taken. Like, I'm kind of just like the last one. Right. And my sister's already told me that Jamal didn't mess with my cousin. He didn't like her. I don't. Right. So, so I don't even know why they kept forcing the yeah. fact like Jamal and Paige, Jamal and Paige, Jamal and Paige. Like, no. So he was gonna. He was just kind of like, you know, I like you and stuff like that. I kept on denying him. Like, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. And he just like, what? Like. You think this can't be, like, I can't really like you? Like, what, what you mean? Like, I like you. And I'm just like, no, you don't. <laughs> I'm about, 
I was very smooth back then. Yeah, but he was like, and then like another part of it though was like he was more shy, like not shy, but he was kind of quiet to himself. So like if everybody in the, in the group at the camp was like, okay, we finna go shopping, we finna go here. He like, I'm finna go home, I'm finna go to Wapatosa, I'm finna go home. Right. Like he he never was into. Yeah, that. they always used to. Well, not always. Yeah, we but used to try to do group stuff. They used to try to do group stuff. And Tim and Mustafa used to be with y'all. Yeah. But I was like the only male that was working at the group. I mean, they're working at the church that was in the group where it's like. I'm going home. Yeah. And <laughs> All like, y'all can hang together. I'm going to the crib. Like, yeah, so it made me more... Kind of like... You know how you start warming up to somebody? First, you're like, okay, wait. Like, you know, first it's like when somebody's quiet, you kind of already drawn to them a little bit. But it wasn't like, okay, I want this to be my boyfriend. Yeah. It wasn't right. like, I like you. It was just more of like, oh, he's quiet. But then it's like, when you when you that young and you deal with so much, so many people like not showing you that much attention and you get attention from somebody and... He's, like, to yourself. Like, he's kind of coming to you. He's not, like, all oh, around my cousin. Like, yeah, yeah, all in their face and they coming to me. It was just always, like, okay, wait a minute. And I remember this one time, like, we was getting ready to go. And I was sitting down. Um, I was sitting down in the chair. We was getting ready to, go, like, get a ride back to the house. And um, he was, like, Patala. And I was, like, turned around, like, huh? And he was, like. <laughs> and it was just so cute. He was, like. Then my cousin's, like, he like you. He like you. I'm just, like, ah. Like, cause it was just so cute. Cause he just kind of like waved, like bye. Cause he was going to Chicago with his friend. So oh, yeah, that's when we got went to. Uh, yeah, you went somewhere. To that little outlet. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that was just so cute. So I kind of was just like in denial for a long time, until you know, uh, what you call it? What? Um. When was I in Then it just started to become like every day I used to go to work and I used to act, like actually be happy, like kind of looking forward to him kind of coming around me because he always tried to pursue me, but it was a joke. It was a game. Like it wasn't real. Yeah, we tried to keep our money, man. <laughs> they, were trying to stay, money. they were trying to stay and th- keep their job. So like if they have beef with the females, we like, oh no, he doing this. They're going to fire him off right off the right. spot. So they tried to keep their spot. So I understood, you know. But then it started getting <laughs> weird because then it's like, I, I don't know. I don't know if people have done that before where it's like you really you really don't like that person. Mm-hmm. But then like you fake it so much that you start catching feelings. That's exactly what happened. Like, mm-hmm. like we got too deep into the game where it's like <laughs> <laughs> we we playing with them, we playing with them where it's like you really is catching feelings. Where it's like, all right, I think I'm slipping up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Can I remember that day we had ended up getting his I had asked him like, Do y'all have Jamal's Facebook? And he had this one Facebook post, and he was like, dang, like, it was all supposed to be a game, but I'm still really starting to catch feelings for this girl. And I was just like, oh, like, you talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, that was crazy. I don't, I don't know. I think one time we, he came up to our, our house. I don't know. I think we made it official there. I forgot. But I remember that time that I cried. What was on? It was on the porch. And I kind of played it off and said it was a fake. It was I was joking because you kept on saying like, "What'd you say to me?" I forgot. Like oh, he was. I oh no! Before before when we like he kept on trying to like you know we started really liking each other and stuff like that. I mean we wanted to be in a relationship too, and it was like my mama was like, "You're 14 years old. You're not gonna be dating no guy and stuff like that." Like she was so strict on me, and you know. And everybody else, everybody man. else can be freely dilly. Like, everybody out here and, wild and nilly and with yeah. vanilla willy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so um, I was so emotional about it because, like, I was the type of kid that always was close to my mom, and I always like listened to what she said. Like, it wasn't like I was just disobedient. I'm gonna do what I want, but it right. was more of like mama said no. So I'm kind of like, eh, like I was like emotional. I was just like, I like I, I want to be in a relationship with you, but my mom, my mom, like. She out there with that boy. She out there with that boy. She never go outside. Not that boy. She over here like. <laughs> That's what I'm what you do. want me to do? Stay in the house? Like you always have to go outside, but tell her go outside. I'm just like. Mm-hmm. That's how parents is though. You yeah. know that boy. That boy. Uh-huh. <laughs> that it, boy. it just became stronger and stronger. Where when Jamal came around, I was outside. Right. When he didn't was he when he wasn't around, I was in the house like. It became like that, you know, and we finally just kind of made it official. It was just official then. That's in the summer. But the, the funny thing is about it, I don't think she knows to this day right now. Well, but before, I was trying to really break up with her. Oh, really? And so Darren kept saying, like, I shouldn't do it. Like, I shouldn't listen to Mustafa and Tim. But I talked to them before because we, we had the, it was like a mandatory church thing. Mm-hmm. And I remember, 
I, I was literally trying to. Like, I was literally like, I'm about to break up with her. As soon as I catch her by herself, I was going to break up with her and be like, if she cries, she cries. I'm just going to just walk off. And, and I remember, I, was, I kept talking about it so much. And Tim and then was like, bro, you might as well just go ahead and do it. Like, you just keep talking about it. You keep talking about it. Then I know Darren pulled me to the side. I was like, bro, if you really like her, bro, don't even listen to them and all that extra stuff, bro. Like, you shouldn't even be listening to them if you really like her and all that stuff. Like, mm hmm Cause I remember, did I did I break with you? I think I did though. One time, I think like in our beginning stages, like he broke up with me like one time. And no, I was we like, was in the alley when we when we was walking back from the church. When we in the alley? Oh really? When we like in the alley, like across the street, like where old dude used to live at. I don't remember that. Is that that alley right across? Just so y'all know, I have like I don't know if I have short term memory, but I remember bits and pieces of certain stuff. Like I never remember stuff. Like he has the best memory ever. I don't. I remember that, stuff. Remember where Calais lived at? Across yeah. the street is the alley. When oh, was I like sitting in that alley? Oh, yeah. Maybe we were. I thought I thought the one time that you broke over me, it was like over the phone. And then you was like kind of like the same day we kind of just got back together. No, I remember. I, I think I had a like, baby blue polo. And we were like sitting in that alley. It was like kind of like fall. It was kind of like it was cold. Mm, maybe. But then what happened after that? I don't even remember. Cause you know me, I'm emotional. But then ten days say something, or something. I don't even know what happened. Maybe ten days got involved and got his. Back Not together. ten day, but who? Uh, Shaku. Um, I don't know. I don't remember that. Like seven years ago is a long, mm -hmm. long time. Like it's so hard to like remember certain stuff. Like so. Yeah, but Zala was very weird though. He was very weird. Like when. When we first started talking to them, I didn't want to talk to her or Tim Paige. Or my cousin. Yeah. I didn't. Paige was annoying, and Patala was weird. So, and I just judged me like, uh. Weird. I just annoying. go with weird. Patala used to wear, like, baggy pants with, like, the chains and stuff, like, uh, emo. Like, she was very emo when we first started. Not talking. really, yeah. Mm-mm. No, I wasn't emo. I just wore baggy pants. Like me and my friend had to style it like in middle school where we used to like wear tight shirts and like baggy pants with like chains. So, like I was very emo. emo. That's like emo ish. Nah. Y'all know them people that be like on their movies like, with like the, with with the big like <laughs> rock and roll chains coming from there. That's how she was. With, just, the, with the yeah. big pants, the Chuck Tet like bro, she looked like I got, that. I still got that same picture. <laughs> She used to put stuff all over her face and stuff. I like, had the little stickers on my face. Like, if y'all, I wear them now. Very emo. That is not emo. Very like, emo. That is very emo. I used to wear. <laughs> it was so cute this day. Like, he, um, I had on his green tank top and I had on like these, uh, these baggy tan pants and some Air Force Ones. I think it was fake. I don't know. Um, and he kind of like put me <laughs> over his lap. And it was just like, I don't know what we used to be doing, but we used to be so, like, together. We was bad. A lot of us would go to hell for a lot of stuff that we did in that church. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. Yeah, go ahead. I'm just saying, a lot of people was very perverted in that church. Obviously, when you put kids in the church with other like, males and females and stuff and like that, up it's going to be, too. It's it's like, be very, like, flirtatious. Flirtatious. I can't talk. But, yeah. So, a lot of people got to... Uh, one way trip straight to hell. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be on the first. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, nah, but yeah, like I said, she was very, very weird. But mm -hmm. yeah, I remember we used to just like, just we used to just like just talk to y'all. Like it used to be mm -hmm. funny because a lot of stuff we we it was corny that we used to say to them. We used mm -hmm. to be like, "Girl, I love." Like, have somebody ever like was playing with like ever seen a guy playing with a female, but you knowing they playing. But they was like literally taking it serious. Mm -hmm. Like it, it would just kept going. We're like, girl, I love, girl, I like you. Girl, stop. Come on, I wasn't stop going for it though. Like, I was, I was the only one that was. So going you don't for like it. me? Like she literally. Well, at, well, at first she wasn't. Until it went a little further and further. She was further. going, but she had this, this very, you playing, you playing, you playing like. Just like when you young like that, and a guy showing you attention. We not playing, girl. I ain't playing, girl. When a guy young, I mean, when a girl is young like that, and she growing up, and she dealt with people not really, you know, thinking she was attractive, it was like when that one person just come around, it's like, wait, okay, wait. 
You're playing. So I always felt that it was like unbelievable. Like, you can't like me. Nobody likes me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how it was. Like, because I was like the black sheep. Everybody else got the love. The guys all, hey, I'm just. That's the only thing about Vitalik. All her, not to be like colorism or all that, whatever that thing is. Yeah. is like the only light-skinned chick out of her family. Mm-hmm. All your sisters and brothers are dark. Are very dark. And she just like light-skinned. So it was weird when she'd be like, oh, I'm the uh, the black sheep mm-hmm. of the family. Like, why? Like, mm-hmm. I was skinny. I was built like a... <laughs> I don't know. You know how young you ugly. <laughs> <laughs> You know how you young, you ugly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that. We all were. <laughs> you know how we ain't got the right weight, me ain't no weight. We just right. little looking a mess. Like, <laughs> I thought I was doing something though. I had my little stickers on, trying to do my little hair. My hair was all heat damaged, stuff all ugly. Like, man, I still got pictures. Yeah. He was very weird. And it just came to a point where when you do stuff, when you do something every day for. A whole summer, it's gonna catch up with you, and that's exactly what it is. Like, that's it. Like, as a, as a guy, you know when you playing with females. Like, you know you like, hey, I'm gonna talk to her. I'm uh, everybody got like, aka player ways or just 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 what's the word? Like I was saying before, we were rudely interrupted by the camera. As a guy, when you when you playing with a female, like. You don't take this serious. Like everybody have been through that that stage, male wise, and be like, I'm just, I'm not taking this person serious. Yeah. I'm probably just, you know, gonna talk to him and move on. That didn't happen. No. I, I started being like, because it, it moved from the church to like leaving the church, coming to y'all house. Because we didn't live that far from the church. We lived up the street from the church. Right. So it was like, we was all in the same neighborhood besides him, though. He always had to get like on a bus and go to the house. Yeah. That, and that, that was the weirdest thing because everybody who worked at the church lived in the neighborhood. In the same neighborhood, yeah. Except me. Mm-hmm. So everybody would walk in a group and be like, oh, we're just walking home and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm walking to the bus stop because I got to catch the bus all the way to, you know, where I was at at the moment. So... That got so weird. Then it was like, oh, talking on the phone. And so once I started talking on the phone, that's when I think that's when the feelings really started happening. Because it went from like mm-hmm. at the church, talking after the church, then like at home talking on the phone and stuff like that. And when you're talking to somebody like that and getting used to somebody like that, mm-hmm. you can add, I don't know. I'm not strong enough to be like, hey, I'm just not really into you like that. Let me just leave. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It was supposed to be just a fun, a, a little fun thing, and once once you know we got our money and the camp was over, mm-hmm. we were supposed to be like, all right, Bye. peace, like, no, we gone. We'll see you. And I live I live in Tulsa anyway, so that one's gonna be hard to do regardless. Mm-mm. Just to be like, like Milwaukee, Tulsa, that's two different yeah. counties, not <clears throat> cities, but like counties. counties right? Yeah, yeah. You can say that, so. Yeah. That would have been easy for me to just ignore and not really yeah. feel and no I, way about it. Mm-hmm. I'm in a whole different district. Yeah, I'm in a whole different school. So it's like, hey. Bye. Yeah. Bye. I use, not saying use you, but like, I, hey, I, act like I like Yeah, <laughs> I act like I like you. I really don't. Peace. I'm out of here. Yep. But I guess God had other plans. <laughs> now I'm here. Now I'm stuck seven years later. Yeah. He's stuck all day. It's crazy. Can't get out, but you know. Sometimes you can't do things that you want to do. Greg, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Would have been up and down, though. Huh? No, it was very up and down. What, what? Like, relationship-wise. Of course. We got to, of course, seven years. Of course, you uh, don't have no perfect little do we do relationship. Nah. Right. Nah, brother. We, um, it's, especially we grew up with each other. So it's like we learning ourselves. Exactly. We're growing. Exactly. So that makes that relationship even harder because you kind of just like, I was 14. Like, what the heck? Like, so just gr- literally getting out of middle school, going into high school and being with somebody is like, psh, you know, it's like right. a lot going on. You know, you're going to, you going to high school. This is your first time in high school. This is everything. Like people are getting older. Like, so it's like we growing up together as a couple and it's like seven years. Of course it's going to be an up and down road, you know, but yeah, it's just long, man. It was a long time. And that, that'd be a that's gonna be a weird story to tell. 
like, you know, future kids. Like, yeah. oh, I didn't really like your mom. It was just a joke. Like, yeah. that turned serious. So don't be playing. Don't be playing around. <laughs> so don't be out here playing because you'll get trapped like me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 but we actually talked y'all ear off and we got so many story times. If you guys want to hear a story time about stuff that oh we got a lot more we got mm-hmm. lo- y'all wanted to get very personal we can also yeah yeah personal. just let us know how <laughs> inappropriate y'all want us to get <laughs> <laughs> because we got a lot of those type of stories too. yeah yeah a lot of weird stories too uh but we don't <laughs> want to continue to keep talking about y'all that's exactly how we met and that's how i think it's like almost 40 minutes <laughs> we became you know what we became. Yeah. Being with each other. I ain't getting that. <laughs> I ain't getting that. But anyway, we better close the thing out anyway, so whoever calls might have to wait. Right. But um, like I said, that's how we be how we met, how we start dating, and you know, that's Pretty much it. That's like, pretty much it, you know. Yeah, we, we had want, to. We we want to elaborate too, you know, how everything led up to what. Yeah. And because you know, you guys are not gonna really, really understand what it was, but yeah, that's really it. That's how we met, you know. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I am Jay, y'all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Being all big, that dang on. All right, it's just crap good. Mm. But um, yeah, y'all tell us uh, what y'all want to see next. Uh, we got more videos in the way. We got another challenge on the way. Um, the video of her being my slave is going to be on the way. <laughs> slave <laughs> my, my servant. Um, nine more days till Disney World, so. Yeah. Woo, that's, that's going to be a lot. So, uh, y'all, y'all like, I'm subscribed. Y'all watching this, subscribe. Uh, watch our other videos. If y'all was entertained about this video, entertain yeah. off this video. Watch all our other videos. And that's pretty much it, darling. Darling. You got anything else to say? Shout out to Notification Gang. Shout out to the Notification Gang. This time, we, you know, finesse y'all and we put it at the end of the video so y'all can watch the the video. video. It should be in this corner right here. In that corner. So, shout out to y'all and continue to keep watching our videos because that's what we're here for. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I am Jay, and I am B, and this is B Like, comment, subscribe, more videos on the way. Here we out. <laughs>